I'm Richard Taylor, it's the 25th of June 2012 and I'm here in Wisbeach on their police priority setting day. Now the police priorities are being set in a rather odd way here today. Um, the police have parked a bus outside the council chambers here and they are um, surveying people during the day and with a questionnaire and the basis of um, their priority setting for this period will be the results of that questionnaire. I've had a look around the town to see if there's any mention of the police priorities being set here today. There's nothing in the Fenland Council offices, there's nothing on the notice boards outside the Town Council chamber and um, there's nothing on the um, police notice board outside the police station either. There's a rather bored looking police constable um, sitting in the bus behind me at the moment. Uh, I might go across there now and um, see if he'll have a chat with me and tell me um, what he's been hearing from people today. I've just had a chat with Sergeant Robin Gorston on the bus behind me. Now he tells me that he's not bringing a report of uh, his police performance uh, to either the forum meeting or the, the later council meeting here today. He's just here to listen and to uh, take the uh, questionnaire responses. I asked Sergeant Gorston what antisocial behaviour means uh, when the term is used here in Wisbeach. He told me that it could be anything from loud noise to fights. Well, that's really interesting to know what it means um, when the term is used up here when compared to um, how it is used elsewhere where it can be used for things such as speeding or merely congregating on open spaces. I asked Sergeant Gorston about uh, immigration in the area and about recording people's ethnic backgrounds in more detail. The sergeant told me that um, nationality of people who are stopped uh, is sort of stopped and searched is already recorded and um, he and I think that that is probably um, sufficient. We spoke about the uh, costs of translation and Sergeant Gorson said that in his team he has officers who speak Russian and Latvian and they've been uh, using their skills here today uh, during the consultation exercise. He gave the impression that uh, costs of translation are, are not a serious uh, problem in, in this area. It's now five minutes before the neighbourhood forum meeting where the police priorities for Wisbeach are going to be set this evening. There's still nothing on the notice boards outside. If I was walking past the council chambers here, I would have no idea that either a town council meeting was due to start at 7.30 this evening or in a few minutes' time the neighbourhood forum is to sit, which will set the uh, local policing priorities. So the neighbourhood forum element of the meeting has just concluded. Uh, the police priorities were not set at the forum meeting. The local inspector is going to review the comments which were made at the forum meeting and the questionnaire responses and set priorities based on those. My concern is that the priorities will be set solely on the basis of concerns raised by local people and councillors. However, they will not be based on um, hard statistics, on what crime is occurring in the area, what crime is being reported in the area, and uh, not on the basis of things like what's injuring people in, in, in the local area. The Mayor of Wisbeach specifically blamed those not of English origin, those were the words that she used, for the littering problem um, in Wisbeach, particularly of cans of beer being left on walls. She stated that um, those not of English origin uh, tend to leave half-filled cans of beer around, go shopping and return to them later. I was quite surprised when we heard from the police that there have been five repatriations, apparently we can't call them deportations for some reason, of people from um, Wisbeach who have um, been found sleeping rough or involved in alcohol related um, antisocial behaviour. Uh, I don't know what's going on here but the police did say or suggested that um, it's something to do with Fenland Council considering people who are found to be sleeping rough to be breaching a condition of no recourse to public funds which is a condition on their um, entry and remaining in the United Kingdom.